where you yeah, a pilot in a plane doesn't do a lot of physical moves while he's flying the plane but still after the flight he's very tired sometimes same goes to, uh, for driving a car for a long distance and so on because it's not just physical it's mental when you are trying to be completely let's say concentrating or in the zone mentally it actually affects you physically so you don't have to do phys physical stuff to be really tired physically sometimes because of how uh, much you're trying to be focused mentally your bo uh, body becomes tired physically same goes for horses if you control a horse in a very well way or style of riding a good or correct way of style of uh, riding style of riding or way of riding the horse is uh, trying to focus with you and give you exactly what you want so sometimes you're not asking him to do something very tiring physically but mentally to be able to give you what you want he gives you all he has physically to be able to give you what you want so he didn't canter or gallop or uh, run or canter for a long distance but to be able to give you the collection you want in canter or in trot or the lightness in the neck in trot or in walk and so on mentally to do that he had to do some physical stuff that you don't see it's not running it's not galloping but to be able to be that focused and give you exactly what you want it's tiring for the horse it doesn't mean that the good ways of riding or styles of riding will make the horse tired more than bad ways of running of course not but sometimes you believe that you didn't ride the horse a lot for 15 minutes 20 minutes not a, a lot compared to horses who are being ridden one mile two miles three miles half an hour an hour and so on yes but 15 minutes or 20 minutes of real control in any correct way of riding will make the horse give you all he has sometimes even if it's 15 minutes even if it's 20 minutes inside the 20 minutes you did a lot of physical and mental stuff even though he did not gallop the horse a lot or canter him a lot but physically he might be more let's say tired than other horses who are ridden for uh, double the time or the distance but the rider is just giving them the rein and they are doing whatever they want so there is no real um, connection between the horse and the rider for example if you go to the gym and you do some exercises someone is doing it for an hour or two hours but the exercise exercises are not very important and he's not doing it in the right way so he's not concentrating as much as you should someone else uh, someone else is doing uh, uh, exercises for half an hour or 15 minutes but he's doing exactly what you should do and he's completely focusing on the exercises doing them in the right thing uh, right way or right style so mentally and physically he might be uh, he might look more tired he might be more tired than the one who actually did more exercises for a longer time so it's not about how long you ride the horse it's not about how much time you ride the horse it's about what did you do in the time or the distance you rode the horse in or out